Hello, I'm BX Toycat, and welcome back to the video. Today I have a really cool battle minigame secret I'd like to share with you, and it's actually to do with getting the very best weapon that's not TNT in the entire game. It's really hard to pull off, it's not going to work every game, it's not this amazing secret that will help you win every single game, but it is something that might happen every now and then, and that might be worth trying for if you love getting those rare, super hard to get, but super cool to pull off moments. So yeah, today I'll be showing you how to get the best weapon in battle. Hopefully you'll enjoy this video. If you do, like it, let me know, because it helps out the channel, and let's me do like this sort of thing. With that said, what exactly is this method. It's something I did theorize in the live stream could be possible because they did put fishing rods in as a very rare item spawn. So, it, uh, you know, I've been playing so many games to try and find this and I cannot stress just how rare it is enough. Uh, like I found it maybe once every, uh, let's say like six or seven games. Uh, I've gone in and out of games and finding a fishing rod off the spawn is pretty, pretty rare. And it seems like it doesn't spawn the outside chest too, at least not to my knowledge. And it means getting a fishing rod is pretty rare, but they put the fishing rod in without removing the ability to go fishing, which means if you want to go fishing for, you know, fish, like you can see in my hotbar, you can go and do that. And this means that the fishing rod, uh, as well as being a kind of cool knockback item and kind of a cool protection item, also doubles as a source of food. If you just can't find food on the map, which is something that's killed, you know, people so many times in the game I've played, what you might want to do is just go fishing instead. Uh, fishing will only work on certain maps, uh, you know, Cove, the big version, uh, and uh, you know, uh, obviously it'll work on uh, the <laughs> uh, temple as well, I believe, or cavern. And it will also work here on Temple. It's really difficult to get working in one deep water. I only got it to work the one time, it seems. But the really cool thing about this is if you can find two deep water, like you'll do on the bigger version of Temple, or if you're, you're lucky you can find it here, is you can go fishing. And like you can see in my inventory, I do have a raw fish from fishing this, but that also means you can find every single other thing that the fishing can drop. And this is really cool for more than one reason, because uh, fishing can drop a whole bunch of stuff from lily pads to item tags to saddles. None of that is going to be useful in battle minigame, except one or two of the drops. So one of the drops is one I actually got when I did it for the first time, which is a fishing rod with enchantments on it. So I got Luck of the Sea, which is something that's pretty cool. But another thing that I actually got, shouldn't have, maybe I shouldn't have rerouted there, uh, another thing that I actually managed to get, uh, that you actually can manage to get, sorry, is a level 30 enchanted bow. So to put that in perspective, the very, uh, you know, best weapons you can find around are either like a stone sword with uh, a low level enchantment, like level one or three or something, or a bow with power one, which is a level one enchantment. And power one bow is still one of the most powerful weapons. It can two hit a person who has no armor. And even if they have decent armor, it can do three or four hits to kill. It's a very, very powerful weapon when it has power one in, especially in a game like this, where the armor isn't quite, you know, not everyone has diamond armor. Even if you have iron armor, that's amazing. Most people just have like a few bits and not very much of that. Whereas if you have a power five bow, which is what you can get with level 30, or a power five bow with flame, again, a combination you can get at level 30 and something you can fish up with this rod, then you can absolutely destroy people in this minigame. So yeah, if you want to get the most powerful weapon in battle, it's actually found from fishing in a really, really bizarre twist. I don't think this is something they will patch out because it is just one of those, if you find a fishing rod, if you don't have a ranged weapon but you have some arrows and you want to do this amazingly rare thing, go fishing, you get a 1% or 0.8% chance of fishing up that amazing level 30 bow each time and it will be more powerful than any weapon in battle by a massive margin. Again, to put this in perspective, a power 5 bow is just so much more powerful than a power 1 bow and a power 1 bow is already incredible in battle and uh, yeah, I just figured that was something cool that would be worth sharing with you. So uh, yeah, if you want to get the most powerful weapon, it's something you can do in the most bizarre of ways. I don't imagine this will be patched because, I, uh, you know, they clearly they're don't intend to, and also you can get achievements uh, in, in the battle mini game, which makes me think that it is just Minecraft being played on these specific maps with specific GUI uh, things, which means that, yeah, this is entirely legit, and it's one of the coolest things that I want to see someone do. Again, uh, getting a fishing rod is rare enough that every time I go for one, I, I haven't managed to get it. The fishing rod was the rarest thing I found, but if any of you ever do get this moment, I would love to see it, because I feel like that is the coolest way to win a battle. Oh yeah, I, I did get anything from the center chest besides a fishing rod, so I went fishing, and then I killed everyone with the bow I got, so I feel like that'd be a cool story. Let me know um, what you think of this. Is this actually, you know, a cool thing? Or do you think it's just so unrealistic you're not even going to think about it? Uh, let me in the comments down below. Like the video if you did like it. Share if you really liked it. And subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel. And if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Uh, plenty more battle videos coming in, in the near future, including uh, oh, the, the 4v4J games, which you might be interested in, um, as well as some more Minecraft, uh, as more, more some battle challenges. So, so that's something coming in the next uh, while or so. And I'll see you all in those videos. And live streams and stuff. Bye!